Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating two Christmas cards with a jelly plate background. I'm using a smaller jelly plate for this technique and it measures 3 by 5 inches. I'm working with a stencil from Stamplerations and it has kind of some Christmas trees on it. I'm starting by applying the first layer of paint through the stencil. I'm using a piece of copy paper to clean up my tools and this paper will be very colorful in the end and it can be used for other mixed media projects. I let the first layer dry and give it a quick heat set. Be careful not to heat it too much because you don't want to ruin your jelly plate. And I go on top with the next layer. I want to create a dark night sky, so I'm using some Prussian blue. The layers underneath don't have to be completely dry, but they have to be dry enough to go on top with another paint without smearing it. I clean off my desk while the second layer is drying. My last layer is a layer of white acrylic paint and now I will do my print immediately. And voila, here is the first print. I thought about doing a ghost image, but then I decided to go on top with the same steps that I did before. I just picked another color for the trees. This time I'm doing my white paint first and apply the dark blue afterwards. And I think this turned out pretty nice. The paper where I clean off my stencil will be also nice to create a card, maybe.
Now I picked two of the backgrounds to work with and frame them with a die cut from Tim Holtz. I've die cut two sentiments and glue them down with glossy accents. I also die cut two houses. I believe these are dies from Craft Emotions. I'll glue them onto the card. The sentiments say Merry Christmas just in German. The smaller letters on the top are cut from cardstock that was covered with double sided tape. It makes it a lot easier to stick them down. To finish the cards up, I glue them onto a card base. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye!